<sighs> I'm stressed. My heart is going like do 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 do. My stomach is a knots. Oh Lord, what's wrong with me? Okay. Hello, my name is Devani and thanks for tuning in to Short Not Sweet, a curmudgeon's take on fashion. I post videos on Wednesdays and this Wednesday I am going to be talking about packing. I am packing for a trip to Italy. This is my first international trip since so maybe April of 2019. So I am stressed, okay? I am reporting to you live from stressed as hellville, okay? I'm about to leave for the airport in a couple of hours. So I'm finalizing everything and getting it together. Um, so I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna try to be as in-depth as possible because if I'm stressed about it, maybe you're stressed too and maybe this can be helpful. Um, I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty of like clothes, toiletries, my bag, everything, and hopefully this will help somebody out there. So um, let's start with uh, the bag. So I am taking the medium check baggage from Away Luggage. Um, I have their carry-on bag and I really love it. So I decided to buy this medium suitcase um, and I didn't want to get the large one because I didn't want it to be, I don't want to have too much room because that leads to overpacking and then it's going to be way overweight and then I'll have a different problem. So I stuck with the medium and that has been perfect for me, um, so far. So I'm going to next get into toiletries. So bring you over here a little bit and this suitcase has a little zipped portion here unzip it and I'll bring you back over here so I'm gonna be bringing three toiletry case things um I realized recently so I've kind of gotten into skincare a little bit more recently and so that means that I have a lot more crap and it's kind of frustrating so I have this little toiletry bag. This was like, you know how when you buy something from a makeup company, they give you a free little case. So this is just my face stuff. So this has, um, I'll open it up. This has like sunscreen, um, just from the, you know, from the morning. So like my serum, my eye cream, my morning moisturizer, sunscreen. Then for night it has, um, what, what do I do? And it has my night cream. I use the uh, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Oil. Then I have a retinol that I use a couple of days um, a week. So all this junk is all in here. You know, just, just, just stuffed precariously in here. <laughs> so I'm just hoping for the best here. Let me put all this junk away. I shouldn't have opened it because now I can't close it again. <laughs> Okay, and so the next toiletry case, this is one, uh, this is, this just has like normal toiletries that normal human beings bring. So like my water pick, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, all that, all those goodies, you know. Did I bring my micellar water? Oh, there it goes. See, I'm freaking out, guys. I'm freaking out. You know, deodorant, all those normal things that you definitely need. So that's what's in this little bad boy here. And then this one is my makeup. Uh, I'm also bringing an eyeshadow palette. This is a very dusty old James Charles palette from uh, Morphe. Whatever happened to James Charles? Is he still around? Girl, I don't know. But it's a good palette. Okay, so we have those three things. I'm also bringing like a little mini towel as well as a washcloth. I don't know what the, like I'm staying at hotels. So I don't know if I said, but I'm going to Italy for 10 days um, and I'll be starting in Rome and then I'll be going to Florence for a couple of days, then Venice for a couple of days and ending up in Milan and then flying back here, of course. So I'm staying in hotels, but you never know what you're going to get. And I think it's always useful to have these rather than not. Um, I'm also bringing a little shower poof. I also have and I need to go pack it. You know what? Let me go get it. <clears throat> I have this <laughs> I have this gigantic shower cap thing that I got off of Amazon and it's really good because it fits I got uh, these twists recently and it fits my twists in there so 
really glad that I have this. Um, and then I have like sundry items that I might need. So um, I have bug spray. I have this downy wrinkle release, um, some shaving cream, and of course a razor. And I have so much crap, it can't all fit in my three toiletry bags. So I have another bag just for these things. Um, Pepto-Bismol, got my sunscreen spray here. Um, so yeah, that's what's in there. Also, I'm a woman, so you know, you gotta have your period stuff. You never want, you never know when she's gonna pop up. Um, I don't think you need me to show that on camera. <laughs> Um, and then also my shoes. So I am bringing, I'm wearing a closed toed pair of shoes. I've, I don't know who made those shoes, but you'll probably see it when I show you what I'm wearing to the airport. But I'm bringing uh, this, my trusty dusty Tevas. Very dusty. I'm bringing some Sam Edelman sandals. Some little gladiators and then i'm also bringing my um uh what is it my fendi satin slide no satin sandals um but i'm putting those so i'm gonna bring this suitcase a book bag and a crossbody purse um so i'm gonna bring an outfit as well as a pair of shoes in my book bag because I've been hearing weird things about what's going on at the airports lately. So I wanted to have at least one outfit on me. So I'm going to pack those. Also, you know, you don't want to put anything that's blatantly designer in your in your checked luggage. So I just put that in my um, my book bag. Just, you know, you know, looking out for my future self, you know, just, okay, you get it. So those are my shoes. And I'm going to style up. I'm going to show you the clothes in, in a minute. But just so you know, I am not unpacking these shoes so that I can style the outfits. <laughs> Bear with me here. So I'm gonna, I'll probably tell you like what shoes I would wear with each outfit, but I probably will be barefoot or wear my slippers in each one. You get it, you understand what I'm going for. So, so those are the shoes and let's try to get everything neatly back in there. It's like, you know, a game of Tetris over here. Okay, so now we're into like the main part of the suitcase. I will show you that. You know, a little bit of that. There you go. Very interesting, wonderful, and fabulous. All right, straight. Yeah, and it's good. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some other things. So I, like I said, I'm bringing my Kipling purse with me, but I wanted to bring this um, coach bag in case I wanna dress something up. Um, and of course it's filled with, what is in here? Oh, we have some cotton swabs hand sanitizer, my jewelry, my lactate pills, very important things. I have my robe. I don't know if I'm gonna need a robe. I'll be in the hotel room by myself, but you know, better to have than not have. Oh, you know, this was in that, um, I forgot to say, I'm bringing a pair of flip flops. So those are gonna double as like my slippers. And then if I ever get a chance to like swim or something, I don't think I will, but you know, just in case they can also double as like a pool shoe or a beach shoe or something like that. Um, I said the robe. This is my little bonnet for sleeping in. This thing is great. I got this from Walmart and this also fits like when I put all this hair on top of my head, it still fits over my head and it stays on all night. So, I mean, I'm sure everyone has like a good bonnet, but this thing also very good. Um, and of course underwear I'm bringing like, so I'll be there for 10 days. I'm bringing about, I'm trying to bring you know 10 pairs of panties and bra and 10 bras um i don't know if i have that many i'm gonna do like the final count you know after i record this video but i'm hoping i'll get to do laundry at some point so we'll see how that goes um i'm also bringing a sweater this is a just a white sweater. I'm sure I've worn it in other videos um, and I'll show it when I'm showing the outfits. But I know like I'm, I'm going to Italy and you know they have like those really old churches and stuff. A lot of times they want you to have something on your arms. So in addition to just being something to put on my arms if I'm cold, it's also for that. Cause you know, you gotta be respectful and whatever. Okay. So the last non-clothing outfit. 
or this is technical clothing, I guess. But this is a trench, this is like a raincoat, trench coat kind of situation. And I'm back, this is a, just in case, it's very light. And, you know, I wanted to have something kind of cute but easy to pack um, in case it rains while I'm there. And this is easy to throw on, even though it's not too hot, you know, even though it, it'll be raining, it, it'll still be warm. So I want to have something like that. Okay, so now for the good part, I'm going to get into what I'm bringing in terms of clothing. So I will be bringing six tops. And I have five in the suitcase and one will be in my book bag. And I will be bringing three shorts. Um, two of which will be in the suitcase, one of which will be in my book bag. And then I'm bringing one, two, three dresses um, all in the suitcase and also a jumpsuit. So I will get into each one. So, so pairing them with these white shorts. And I also am bringing these blue denim drawstring shorts, um, as well as oh, you know what? I'm bringing four shorts, so three are in the suitcase, and one is one is in my uh, book bag, and then these black denim shorts. You know, I'll just show you all the tops. So I have that black silky top, silky. Um, I have this printed top here. And I have another printed top in my book bag. I have this denim top here. I have a white um, top from the Frankie shop. And I will say, so this is the um, Eva top you might've seen on the internet with the strong shoulders. So I'm wearing the black uh, Zara version right now. Um, and I, I tried on the white one by Zara and it looked kind of cheap. So I ended up getting um, the Frankie shop one because I saw it was on sale and I really do kind of like this. I decided I really like this look. Um, and these were on sale at the Frankie shop. Oh no, they, we, they were on sale from my Teresa. And these came in a pack of two for 70. So this was one for $25.90. And these are two for 70, which means they're like $35 each. And you can really tell the difference in the material. So if you're in the market, um, I would check them out. They might still be on sale. If they are, I will link them below. And then the last shirt is from, this is a Barcelona jersey. Um, I don't know even know if I'm gonna be able to go to any type of soccer game or anything like that. So I don't even know if I'm gonna wear this, but these are one of, this is one of those things I had to bring like you know if I go to one of a big European country where there's a possibility I go to a soccer game then I have to bring a soccer jersey I just I feel it in my bones um I'm bringing one nightgown that's my pajamas um so my dresses my three dresses this one here where did I get this from oh you know what I think I got this from Walmart I think about it. I don't know why I got so excited. <laughs> I've had it for a while and I like it, but I forgot where I got it from. And yeah, it's so exciting when you get something like cute for a good deal. You, you just kind of like it. You just remember like, oh, wow, right. I got a good deal on this. This is so exciting. So yeah, this is from Walmart. Check Walmart out. They got some cute little dresses. Um, I'm bringing, um, matter of fact, let me stay on, stay the course. <laughs> This is another black dress from Calvin Klein. It has a little mesh cut out in the middle. That is kind of cute. And it's like sometimes cutouts around the middle can be a little sometimey because it's like, why would I want my juices hanging out? Like, come on. But the where the mesh is, is like very flattering on your body. So I like this dress. It's very old though. So I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, I can't link that below. Um, and then this is a jumpsuit. I believe I got this from Kohl's. I think this is probably like one of those like yoga outfits that you can buy from Kohl's, but I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just very comfortable and it's very easy to get in and out of. That's the thing about, um, jumpsuits you know like sometimes 
you know, the stress of getting in and out of one is just like, you know what, I don't feel like wearing that, but that one is very easy. And then my, like, I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to wear it, but I wanna bring it anyway, is this age dress. This is the Cherish mini dress in the color Marigold. Um, and I will say, if you're into this dress, um, first of all, they're great. I have this in black as well. So I would recommend you get it. But they're having a sale right now on the Age website. So I think they're like, they normally retail for like four, like four something, like up there. And they're going for like 190 So if you're thinking about getting this, hurry up. You know, I will link below if they are still on sale. They are... They're fabulous. You know, so I'm not sure where I'm going to wear this. I'm going to be with a group for the first leg of the trip in Rome. And one of the ladies, her birthday is uh, during this trip. So maybe they'll want to do something nice. But, you know, I feel like this dress is almost too fabulous to wear on someone else's birthday. So I probably won't wear. Maybe I'll wear like that little black uh, mesh part dress. I don't know. But I just, it's just so fabulous. I haven't worn that dress yet. I just... Um, got it maybe a couple months ago okay so i wanted to talk about how i'm gonna put together the other outfits and like all the possibilities so for the black silky top i thought this could be easily dressed up so i have it here with the white linen shorts and those shorts were from i believe h m and i got them for like 18 bucks again if i can find it i will link that below um, and I thought that would just be super easy. And those white shorts can also go with the denim top that I showed you. So I really like that it's super versatile, super easy to wear um, those shorts. And they just, they can be dressed up or dressed down. So that's, you know, that for me, that's the key to bring anything on vacation. Can I wear it multiple ways? Is it easy to wear? Will it be comfortable? Because I'm going to be running and gunning and like going all different types of places. So that's really um, the key for me. Um, now, the next thing is, oh, this top. So I'm wearing this top on the plane and I'm wearing with some jeans. But this could easily go with some the black shorts here. I mean, it could really go with any of these shorts. It could probably go with the white shorts as well. Um, but I paired it here with the black shorts and I think I've worn that before I think um, on this channel and I just think it's a super easy outfit with a little bit of edge to it um, and also it's like you got a little you got a little skin out so it's gonna be cool I'm not gonna be sweating too much although it is all black um, but you know all black is a moment so come on what are we gonna do and so next, I'm going to show you the shirt that is actually, this is the outfit that is in my book bag. This is the printed top with the, um, my gap cutoff shorts. Again, super easy. Um, and if I wanted, if I needed something, I just put on the white sweater over top. If I need something on my arms, again, very easy, very comfortable. Now, another thing to do is I have the uh, drawstring shorts that I showed you and then I paired it with this uh, printed top you know this outfit I enjoy it. it makes me look like somebody's mama but somebody's cute mama so I'm okay with it it's really comfortable like that's the thing and that is the the quintessential very cool outfit like that the shirt is so lightweight those shorts they're not like tight and clingy at all so you're getting a lot of a lot of breezes you know and that's the name of the game I'm looking at the weather in Italy and it's hot as hell. So I will need something that's super cool like that. And so I'm really, I think that outfit's going to work out really well. Oh, you know, I've been really bad about saying what shoes I would wear with these. I don't know. With this outfit, because I already look like somebody's mama, I probably would need to wear a nice sandal. So I probably would do the beige sandal. Let's see it go back. With the outfit before this, with the black, um, with the black shorts and the, oh, you know what? I, I could wear the shirt that I showed you with either the Gap denim shorts or the black um, banana, banana, banana Republic shorts. But um, I don't know. I mean, maybe even like my Fendi sandals could go with those. That might be too much print though. So maybe I would just stick with like my Tevas for comfort. And then what else do I have? 
uh so the all black the black on black i probably would do that with my fendi sandals i think that's just cool and you know those fendi sandals have a little black in them i think that would really be a really cute look the white shorts with the denim shirt i don't know that might just be a tiva's day you know just comfort something very cool breezy easy to wear when i wear the white shorts with the black top that feels more dressy to me so i probably would do it with the fendi sandals as you notice um i'm not bringing a pair of black sandals um i'm not pack i don't want to pack anything else <laughs> i guess i could bring something else but no she's done she's done i'm not packing any more shoes so that's it um let's see the dresses now for the tan for the marigold dress i probably would do um the tan sandals i feel i feel like that's more dressy for the black dress i feel like i have to do the fendi sandals that's such a moment it's the the black dress with the mesh has a little cut out you gotta do the you gotta do the fendi sandals the black and white dress can go with anything it really depends on where i'm going maybe i would do i don't know i don't know i guess i would do the i guess i would do the fendi's with those with that um and then my uh jumpsuit i'll do the teams with that that's all comfort all day that's gonna be me on the train between like venice and milan i'm gonna wear that i'm gonna be super comfortable so that's that's what i'm gonna do with that one okay so i think that i've paired everything up i've styled everything um i'm excited i'm super stressed out oh one last thing i'm bringing a bikini not my fendi bikini i'm not trying to get arrested if you don't know why I say that, I will uh, post my review of that video below. And then I'm also bringing some little uh, denim shorts for these as well. Um, and I probably won't get a chance to swim, but if I do, I will have a bathing suit. And last but not least, I wanted to mention accessories. This would not be me if I didn't talk about those. I am bringing um, this totes rain hat, you know, for if it's just like, raining a little bit i don't want to wear the the coat that i brought um but um, i want something on my head this will be great i'm also bringing this rusen baginski cap i wore this on vacation a couple months ago and it was really a workhorse it was um i really i liked it more than i thought it i would um so if you were in the market for this i'm not sure these are still for sale um but this particular one i think is really cool and interesting and especially for summer i think it um, really fits easily into your wardrobe the shape is still a lot it's still a lot but i do enjoy this hat and i'm also bringing two pairs of sunglasses and they're both from amazon um you might have seen these before they're on a lot of social media and stuff um and these were really cheap the second pair i got from or that i bought these for this black pair first and i think they were like 15 when i bought them and worth every penny and then i ended up buying these and they were on sale during prime day for like 12 or something like that so just really affordable um and you know i love sunglasses i have um some more expensive pairs that i'm definitely not bringing with me because i don't, I don't need that trouble i <laughs> i do not want that smoke um because i don't want to be heartbroken i left them some random no i don't want that and just like the act more more concerning for me is just the act of packing them and bringing them places there's just more chances for them to break or be dropped or something you know so these are easy i really like them but if i drop them i step on whatever you know if they get really messed up in the transport from here to italy and back i won't be heartbroken because i can easily replace them so those are my accessories that I'm bringing. In addition to my jewelry, I'm also bringing my Loewe belt. Um, and also, I didn't show it here because this is what I'm wearing to the airport. Uh, and I guess this is the opportune time to talk about what I'm wearing to the airport. This is the Zara um, padded shoulder top um, with these gap um, drawstring jeans with the gathered um, hemline at the bottom. And I'm gonna wear it with some closed toe shoes because you know planes are cold and um I will be putting my Dries Van Noten denim jacket over it and I think that'll be a cool layering piece for other outfits that I've shown in this video as well 
And last, but maybe most importantly, if you are checking a bag, I am, I bought a, an AirTag recently and I convinced my dad to buy one too because he's also um, going to be on the first leg of this trip with me. I told him, get an AirTag, it's 30 bucks. And he like thinks it's a scam by the airlines to get us to buy AirTags, but <laughs> my dad's ridiculous. <laughs> Do not believe that. Get an AirTag, you know, it's crazy with the baggage being lost and, you know, feel all the people traveling and the staff at the airlines are very overwhelmed and everything. Um, so do yourself a favor and do that. I went ahead and put it in um, a little zip compartment in my suitcase, uh, just in case. Hopefully this is just all being superfluous and I spent the $30 for no reason, but I, f I feel a little bit better. I'm already stressed out. So I feel a little bit better knowing that I have some recourse if something happens. Knock on wood, it will not happen. It's kind of loud. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I have for that part. So this video is long, so hopefully it was helpful. If it was, maybe you'll consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. You can also check me out at Short Not Sweet for more styling advice and fashion talk, all that. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and take care of yourself. Bye.